Hey, this is Chef at Pixelada. I thought I'd do a quick portrait using the uh, Norris Digital by Stadler. I don't know if you can see that. Give it a second. There we go. Norris Digital. I am working on a Samsung Note Pro from 2014, and I'm going to do a portrait of Cornell West. So here we go. Um, I'm not really, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, somebody who really worries too much about uh, the, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Doing it properly, you know, doing the, the whole detail, uh, constructing the head and the forms. You know, if you've got some mileage, you don't need to to do all of that. You can do it whenever you're struggling, but you know, trust yourself to have, you know, incorporated that knowledge into your head, you know, so you're not struggling all the time with some really basic stuff. You know, don't always start at the beginning, don't always start from zero. You know, Okay, so I laid in the pencil, and now I'm just going to sort of adjust the shapes. You know, I, I think Cornel West has a really interesting face. You know, I, I, what I've switched to here is a sort of a blender uh, brush. It's kind of large, and I'm working with large brushes to sort of get the shape going and not noodle too much on detail. I'm trying to do this fast. You know, the figure drawing session that I go to, they spend a lot of time uh, doing really quick sketches. And I'm, I'm of the opinion that while that's all well and good, you know, you, you go to drawing sessions and you know, you're, you have either two goals to improve your work or to come out with some good drawings right some portfolio quality stuff but that isn't always the case you know like I noticed that a lot of people who go they they repeat a lot of mistakes and uh, keep on doing the same thing, but they're not necessarily growing. And I don't know if they can figure out, figure out why. It's really not my place to say anything, you know, because everybody's going there is a working professional. And, uh, you know, it'd be kind of insulting to say something, unless they ask, you know. But if uh, if you can, you know, just focus on your own progress and not worry about other people, you're, you're far better off, you know, because it's kind of toxic to compare yourself to, uh, to people who, who have a lot of mileage and a lot of skill, you know, they, uh, they often, uh, you know, they, they have enough skill to do the job to accomplish their work and uh, it's not so much about you know who's better than who it's like you know at that point you're like oh, I'm putting food on the table you know my my kids have clothes and they go to school but you don't want to necessarily worry about where you are in comparison to somebody else because they're they may be on a completely different path as you you know in fact I know they are on a different path than you. Um, I'm making these videos to sort of talk a bit to myself. I guess some of these issues are some that I'm dealing with. You know, you, but you, you want to wrestle with your own demons. 
not worry about other demons, other demons of other people, you know, when it comes to drawing and painting. Admittedly, I don't know much about Cornel West beyond the fact that he's a philosopher, but I can't deny that he's just got really an interesting look, you know? It's not, it's, 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 it's honest, you know, and I mean, I mean to say that it's not manufactured per se, you know, he's not a, he could be, you know, he could be fostering this look, but, you know, I don't think appearances are super important to this dude, you know, I'm not saying that he's not a handsome man, I'm just saying you know, in terms of becoming a supermodel, you know, he's, he's not, it's not something he cares about. Yeah, you know, I mean, there are far more vital issues than appearance, you know, in the world. And, uh, you know, we, we know that. You know, I like to go for the eyes, like, right away. Ordinarily, I would have done this a lot sooner, but um, I I kind of held off because I wanted to get the shape of his head. But if I don't get the eyes right, you know, rather quickly, then you know I kind of consider it a lost cause and start over, or you know you just just proceed. But um, you you. If you don't get the feeling, you know, in the eyes right off, then, you know, you, you want to approach your drawing in such a way that, you know, if it, it's going to fail, if it's going to go down, it's going to crash and burn, you want to crash and burn early so that you can recover. You know, you have that time to uh, to pull back and save it. Or start over on a new one. I don't know if I will on this one. You know, these are kind of hit and miss for me. Especially with glasses. You know, I save the glasses till the end. But I don't know for sure whether I'm going to be happy with this or not. <laughs> I try to operate with big brushes. From the get go, um, I'm trying to be fast too. Like I said, the figure drawing session that I go to, they they spend too much time, in my opinion, on like one minute, two minute, three minute drawings. You know, and they don't they don't they don't necessarily nail it. You know, I don't think that's enough time. Well, I think yeah, it's enough time, but um, I think they warm up too much. I guess that's what I'm saying. You know. I'm kind of trying to treat these uh, these little sketches like uh, like lectures I would give when I'd be teaching drawing. I miss teaching, but the atmosphere right now at the university level and uh, undo that. That's better at the university level. And everything is just it's just kind of a weird time right now, as far as uh you know politics and stuff. I try to avoid talking about politics in class. I don't want to inflict my opinions on anybody, nor do I want uh to uh really shape anybody's opinions. I'd rather, you know, let people decide things for themselves. Uh, for me, I, uh, I kind of just want to convey information, you know, just help people achieve their goals and just be done with it. Not stress out too much about um, whatever issue du jour might be the case. Hmm. It's 
kind of liking this now. Oh, what happened? What the hell is this? I don't need to look at sushi. Oh my god. That was a real emergency. I had to look at the sushi. I wish I could disable that. If I knew what it was that was causing it, I'd, I'd definitely disable it. But, you know, getting back to Cornell here, I think his, he's got a fierce look about him. You know? I just enjoy that. Going back to a bigger brush for his lower lip. Make that more of a gray. And then do a little highlight. <laughs> he kind of resembles, uh, what's his name? Einstein a little bit. But, um,. Yeah, what else? <laughs> Apologize if I sound a little funky. My cold is killing me. You know? My uh, kid came home. Uh, she was sitting across from another kid. Patient Zero, we will call him. Who, like, sneezed four times in a row. And uh, my daughter, she brought it home. And the whole house is sick. And that's annoying. Uh, gets into your lungs. You get all that gnarly crepitation. <laughs> Wait. Kinda got this cool gray coat. Ignore the microphones in front of his face. But I like painting on this uh, this tablet. You know, you spend like hours and hours on his face. I've only spent like twelve minutes. Uh, probably, hmm, I'm going to just keep it real short. I wasn't really looking at the time until I just glanced down just now. Um, we're at 13 minutes. Probably ought to get his glasses. I know there's like some detail there that, that I probably should get under his nose. Get that a little bit more accurate. I may do this oil, do this as an oil painting, as a comp for an oil painting. Um, there is a uh, surface that I wanted to try working on called Yupo. I'll mention it down in the description. Um, let me get his glasses now. Save the glasses. Oh, what the hell is that? Save it, save the glasses till the end. Get the nose pad cut down just right. Blend out some of these lines. Get some of the shapes under his eyes. Let's see. You know what, I'll just cheat and do a new layer. Put his glasses on a new layer so I don't have to screw up the whole painting. Go with a more precise brush. Larger precise brush. Darker value. Get larger. Got these kind of squarish glasses with a too high. 
with a round corner. I think you can get a lot done on a digital platform by just using um, much of the uh, blending tools to get your majority of grays, mid mid-tone values. And let's get some reflected details on the glasses. Sort of indicate some of that stuff. But since it's on its own layer, you know, I ordinarily don't do that. I don't ordinarily put glasses and whatnot on their own layer. I need to adjust that. Made that frame a little bit too too long or too wide. Um, but yeah, so uh, the joy of using the Norse Digital. Let me turn this off for a second. Get the get the glasses right. You get that frame. We are at 16 minutes. I'm going to stop at 20. I think I'm pretty close though. So now I'm going back to the original layer. I need to darken quite a bit on this, but at this point I could just take it, save it, bring it into Photoshop and just play. But I like the, the looseness of, of, uh, of just drawing this app. It doesn't, you know, it's really simple, really quick. Unfortunately, it crashes quite a bit. And the sucky thing is that it does not export Photoshop layers. You have to export each individual PNG or ping a layer as a ping in order to get it out and be of use to you or export it as a flattened JPEG. Those are your, your choices. So that said, you know, I don't know if I'd recommend this app. I, I, I use, um, Artflow and, uh, Autodesk, uh, what the hell is that? Yeah, Sketch, whatever, whatever that Autodesk product is. That's what I use um, if I need Photoshop layers. But anyway, I just wanted to share this little painting with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can forgive me for being gnarly ill. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Hope that goes away soon. And do without that. Mm -hmm. Turn the glasses off for a second. There we go. Back. <laughs> it's really quite nice to be able to put things like that on layers and not have to worry. But anyway, I think I'm coming to the conclusion of, uh, of this video. Um, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. Peace out. on this a little bit more just because I just paused it so I could have this gnarly cough so I am back and I am working on it this is really fun with the digital with the Norris simply because uh, it's a lot like finger painting you know it's a very child friendly kind of thing. 
The one thing I wish this app had was uh, dodge and burn tools, because that would make it really easy to uh, to to um, darken values that you put down <coughs> and be more accurate. But you know, at this point, I'm just eyeballing it. I don't know if you ever noticed that, uh, that Cornell West was in the Matrix. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it'd be easier if I just went horizontal with it. Yeah. Ooh, too much. Too much, too much, too much. Let me play with that hair a little. You know, sometimes it helps to do sound effects while you're painting. You know. You know how Emma goes BAM! BAM! With the, with his essence. You know. You should do the same thing because it's like it's like you're part of you. you know, bam! Look at that mark. You know, attack it like a, a sword fighter or a fence. You're fencing. Well, uh, anyway, that's my drawing for today. Let's put the glasses back. There we go. And that's a quickie Cornell West. I need to improve my time. This took way too long. All right. Again, uh, thumbs if you like it. Subs if you loved it. Peace out.